Okey, a'udzubillahi minasyaitonir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. This is the recording for our lecture uh, which related to topic number 7. Okay, and then I hope that you can uh, refer to chapter 10 in Lucas uh, textbook. And the title of this topic is beginning and ending the speech. So talking about this particular topic, these are the objectives. Okay, after reading this chapter or this topic, students should be able to number one, identify the four objectives of a speech introduction. Okay, the four aims or the four objectives. Or the four purposes eh, of a speech introduction, and then number two, after reading this chapter, I hope that everybody can explain eight methods which can be used in gaining the attention of uh, the uh, audience. Okay, in an introduction. Number three, identify the major functions of a speech conclusion. Okay, so we have introduction, we have conclusion eh, in this particular chapter, and then number four. Explain the methods a speaker can use in fulfilling the functions of a conclusion. Okay, very simple uh, topic actually. Okay, the introduction for the introduction and conclusion. Okay, so speeches need effective introductions and also an effective conclusion. An effective introduction gets the speaker off on the right foot. So it means that we want to introduce ourselves. So we need to have a very good introduction, other than uh, the presentation of our maybe background or the MC. Okay, maybe had introduced us eh, before we start our uh, presentation. So in introduction, it's uh, the phase where you it is very critical. Okay, you need to have the ability to uh, start eh, with the right foot. Alright, I mean, uh, langkah kan, bukan langkah kanan ni, maksudnya uh, langkah yang tepat. Alright, so first impression is so important, and then an effective conclusion, okay, ends the speech on a strong note. It means that we have delivered maybe uh, our uh, speech for maybe five minutes or maybe for thirty minutes or maybe for one hour. So those times okay that we have spent for our speech, we want to conclude it. Strong, okay, so that people will uh, remember it longer. People will uh, eager to get uh, to know more right, from us, maybe later. All right, and then we leave the audience with uh, all the clues and hints, and not clueless and oblivious. So it means that we try to make sure that our conclusion um, try to uh, restate whatever important, eh, uh, whatever uh, important messages that we have delivered. So they will not uh, be left okay clueless or oblivious. Okay. Objectives of a speech okay talking about objectives of a speech uh, introduction okay according to Lucas there are four objectives in a speech introduction. The first objective is to gain the attention and interest of the audience okay. The second objectives of a speech introduction is to reveal the topic of the speech. The third objective of a speech introduction is to establish the credibility and goodwill of the speaker. So we want to have a good introduction so that we can show uh, the the capacity, okay, the capability of uh, delivering uh, the topic, okay, to the audience. So that the audience think that uh, we are we are the right person, okay, uh, to talk about or to discuss about or to deliver about uh, the topic that they are attending to, and then the fourth objective of a speech introduction is to preview uh, the body of the speech. Ah, uh, it is like, uh, what the 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 first summary ataupun dipanggil sebagai preview tu lah, okay, ah uh, about the contents, the the subtopics, okay, of whatever we want to deliver in. Our session. Okay, the first objective. Okay, we go to the first object. The objective, which is gaining attention. One method of gaining attention is to relate the topic to the audience. Uh, we try to uh, uh, gain attentions by uh, relating eh, the topic with the audience. For instance, 
maybe among my 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 audience ah uh, the counselors counselors to be, okay bakal bakal counselor, so the way how I want to um what um gain the attention of the counselors I might want to say that all right the topic is so much important to all the counselors because the contents in my speech will be uh your skill okay that you will use it when you start your career as a counselor uh, so it is the 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 attempt of uh, relating the topic to the audience the second um method is to state the importance of the topic for example i say that uh, i say that uh, okay the 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 skill of what uh, delivering a speech ataupun tak naklah the skill of listening to others okay so much important to a counselor because that's the power of being a counselor to listen and listen and listen so in this particular speech i want to teach you to be uh, a very good listener and effective listener so that you will be a very good counselor eh, in the future ha, itu maksudnya to state the importance of the topic A third method is to startle. Okay, shocking. Salah hijau situ eh. S-H-O-C-K-I-N-G. Shocking. Kita bagi macam kejutan. Unsur-unsur macam... Um, bukanlah kejutan macam... Wah, segah. Tidak eh. But a third method is to startle. Okay. Ataupun shocking the audience. Do you know that? Uh, you will be a very uh, bad... Apa namanya? Counselor. If you don't listen to whatever I want to share with you today. So please make sure that everybody sit properly, uh, lend your uh, ears to me so that I can assure that at the end of the session, you will be better than uh, before I start the session. Ah, itu maksudnya macam startle lah. Ataupun mungkin macam yang saya pernah buat dalam kelas kan. Awak semua ni tak pandai, tak ada otak kan. Ah, tapi saya ni lagi tak ada otak sebab ah, kita um, apa mengimani whatever uh, one of the uh, apa nama big atau one of the major uh, ulama eh, yang menyatakan bahawa uh, semakin aku belajar, semakin aku rasa tak bijak. Eh, ataupun semakin aku rasa bahawa ilmu Allah ni makin luas. Ah, macam itulah. Alright. So, itu namanya startle or we try to shock the audience. And then next is uh, to arouse eh, the curiosity of the audience. Okay. We want to, uh, what in introduction, we want to um, ask okay, the audience to question. Question and question themselves. Okay. About whatever they will get in our speech. Lepas ni apa eh? What's next? What's next? What's next? Okay? They cannot uh, wait, okay? Uh, for us to uh, start our session eh? Sebab dia dah ada curiosity. They got all the curiosities in their head. And then, a fifth method is to question the audience eh? We ask questions, okay? Uh, do you know how to listen effectively? Do you know... Uh, how to differentiate between listening and hearing. Do you know five steps of listening carefully while you are having your session with your uh, clients? Okay, in your counseling session, contohnya. So, those are the uh, questions lah that we can use, okay, in gaining attention, okay, in our introduction. Alright, next. The sixth method of gaining attention is to begin with a quotation. Uh, kita ada satu quotation lah okay man arada dunya fa alayhi bil im wa man arada al akhirah fa alayhi bil im wa man arada huma fa alayhi bil im so this is the importance of knowledge which will be the uh, what main things okay in my speech so i hope that you can give your attention ah uh, tu namanya quotation lah a seven method is to tell a story ah uh, kita start dengan story okay maybe the 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 story of a successful counselor in Uh, handling uh, sessions by having good uh, skill of listening contohnya so we tell a story maybe a real story or a makeup story lah tak kisah okay and then eighth method is to use visual aids we might want to maybe uh, preview a video from youtube okay uh, the differences between listening and hearing or we want to share maybe uh, past videos of our clients okay and uh, the way how we handle the session with the clients contohnya so At itu ialah contoh visual aids lah Alright Other methods of gaining attention in um, introduction Include referring to the occasion Or inviting audience participation Or relating to a previous speaker And beginning with humor ha, Contohnya macam mungkin aku pernah buat lah Dengan korang dalam 
uh, our previous lectures okay when i i say that uh, okay maybe uh, i'm i'm delivering my uh, lecture okay this semester uh, for public speaking you might already have such uh, skills maybe from your previous uh, lectures okay by maybe delivered by dr amin al hadi or maybe dr nobaila or dr no hafiza so i might uh, give you the same perspective but with a different kind of content ah tu contohnya macam i'm putting in eh, uh, the relationship of my lecture with the previous speakers with previous lectures lah ah itu maksudnya or beginning with humor and so on okay ini contoh Uh, how you want, how I start my my introduction lah kan? Cuba kita eh. I'm not an experienced speaker though. Still learning. Please remark any places throughout my whole speech session and give me your comments for the sake of improvement. Nah, ini apa apa contoh dia ini? Eh? Ini contoh ni maksudnya I'm using which of the ways of uh, gaining attention dengan dia. Yeah, relate to the topic to audience ke? Ataupun to state the importance of the topics ke? Okay, to question ke? Macam bukan question tadi kan? Eh? Is it a quotation? No. Okay, to tell story? Uh, might be, okay. Or referring to the occasion? Okay. Uh, so, I might use uh, uh, these words or these sentences for yang ni tadi. Inviting audience participation. Uh, I'm I'm uh, starting my uh, speech okay, with uh, gaining the attention of the audience lah. Eh, Kalau-kalau macam, oh, I'm not an experienced speaker though. Memang pun, eh, I'm not an experienced speaker though. So, I'm still learning. So, please remark any places. Maksudnya, when I ask the audience to remark any places uh, to give me comments, so it means that I ask them to uh, give their participation ni. Eh, untuk yang nombor 9 ni. Alright. Okay. Ini pula adalah the second objective of uh, introduction. Okay. So, we reveal the topic. Okay, tadi kita uh, gaining the attention of the audience kan. So, the second objective is to reveal the topic. So, introduction, eh, a speech introduction is to reveal the topic of the speech. For sure. We are having introduction not for wasting time or whatsoever, dragging time, no eh. But, we try to reveal whatever we have in our speech lah. Okay, maybe we have five uh, topics. Uh, sorry, we have one topic. Okay, maybe uh, subtopics will be uh, five. Sub of the subtopics will follow eh, the subtopic. Ha, itu maksudnya we are revealing the whole speech lah. The third objective of introduction is to establish the credibility and goodwill. Eh, goodwill ni maksudnya friendliness of the speaker. Eh, we, we are uh, like apa? Uh, uh, giving our hands. We want to uh, ask the audience to follow us. So we grab the hands of the followers or the the the, the audience okay to follow. Uh, throughout the whole session of our speech. Ha, itu maksudnya, we are establishing the credibility and friendliness in introduction. Okay. Okay, next. Preview the body of the speech. Eh, uh, this is the fourth objective lah. Iaitu, preview the body of the speech. Okay. Uh, statement in introduction, identifying main points of body lah. Uh, maksudnya, the body of the speech we can have in one slide. For instance, we say that, Okay, uh, I start okay with uh, introduction, and then the next uh, topic will be blah 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 blah. The next uh, topic will be blah blah blah. The subtopic of the second uh, topic will be blah blah blah. So itu maksudnya previewing the body of the speech until the conclusion lah, the ending of the speech, right? So sample for introduction you can find it in uh, Lucas uh, apa textbook, alright, in page one hundred eighty seven. Please read it carefully for your own understanding. Okay, five tips for preparing an effective introduction. Okay, so the introduction, the introduction, okay, in our speech, uh, should usually be relatively brief, very brief lah. Maksudnya dia umum, okay, very simple. A speaker should keep an eye out for potential introductory material as they research the speech. Okay, from time to time when an experienced um, speaker, okay, they should keep an eye. Maksudnya, kena sentiasa cari eh, potential introductory material. It cannot be, I don't say that cannot be the same. Bukanlah, eh, but we always uh, try to find alternative, okay, for introduction to suit the need of the different audience. Maybe we always have our speech among our friends. Our speech in front of our lecturers. But one time, at one time, you might need to give speech to anonymous or yang kamu tak kenal. So you need to keep an eye for potential introductory material. Okay. 
as an alternative okay that can be a suitable kind of uh, introductory material for your new audience lah which you never handled before ah uh, tu maksudnya and then speakers should be creative when devising their introductions eh, tak boleh ikut cara yang sama yang mesti creative creative means you have alternatives okay that can be suited to the demographic of your audience to the needs of your audience speakers should not be concerned with the exact uh, wording of the introduction yang isau okay tak payah nak ada konsep uh, hafalan base okay so until the body of the speech is finished And then the introduction should be work out in detail so it can be delivered effectively. So here, Lucas proposed that we need to have training session lah. We need to have a pre, uh, apa nama dia, maksudnya dia panggil, panggil apa tu eh. Ada, kalau ada program kita panggil apa eh. Bukan postmortem, postmortem tu selepas. Uh, kita panggil apa eh, ada. Allah SWT, Muhammad. Tak apalah sebab ini adalah rakaman kan. Uh, mungkin kamu ingat lah apa benda tu kan. Uh, practice session lah eh, before we start um, delivering the real one kan uh, so itu maksudnya uh, introduction should be work out lah in detail Okay, next we move on to conclusion eh. conclusion ni apa it's a signal end of speech lah we want to tell people that okay we are going towards the end of the speech session so we need to have conclusion We cannot simply leave the audience without having conclusion. Kalau tak nanti, uh, dia terpinga-pinga lah. Ha? Huh? Apa ni? Tiba-tiba habis ni kan? Where's the conclusion lah? So, we need to have conclusion. So, conclusion helps in terms of reinforcing eh, central ideas that we have delivered in our speech. So, goals of the conclusion. Okay. To summarize speech goal and main points. Okay. We have delivered our speech. We have several points and so on. So, we summarize it in conclusion and then we leave our audience with a vivid impression of our message okay we might uh, have what we call as clincher eh? a one or two sentences sorry a one or two sentence statements that provides a sense of closure eh? by driving home the importance of your speech uh, to clincher apa contoh clincher nanti kita tengok alright and then appeal to action eh? a description of the behavior You want your listeners to follow right after they have heard your arguments. Itu maksudnya appeal to action by the 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 uh, listeners lah, atau by audience right after we have done our speech session. Okay, kita nak ubah behavior. We want to change the behavior or mindset and so on. So, this is what we call as appealing to action. Okay. So, a strong conclusion can heighten the impact of a good speech for sure eh, a good kind of conclusion will make sure that people will remember the contents of our speech longer okay ataupun forever kan eh? so even though the conclusion will be a relatively short part of the speech your conclusion should be must be compulsory eh? uh, carefully planned kalau tak orang akan ingat bahawa uh, our speech has no conclusion so Which part that the the audience need to focus more, okay? Uh, the 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 maybe topic one and two only, or uh, subtopics of uh, number two only, and we can leave or we can uh, what um simply forget eh whatever uh, that uh, the speaker had delivered or except the only thing in uh, topic two contohnya kan? Ah, so itu maksudnya adalah we need to make sure that strong conclusion, okay? Walaupun dia relatively short. Okay, dia mesti be carefully planned. Just as with your speech introduction, prepare two or three conclusions. And then choose the one you believe will be the most effective for your audience and speaking occasion. You uh, stress on that particular uh, part lah. Okay, so that people will understand that uh, this is the uh, one of the most important part or parts okay, in our speech. Okay, ini contoh eh. This is an example. So, I I, I might had uh, delivered, okay, all this uh, partial or all these ingredients uh, of a successful life. Contohnya kan. So, I come to the conclusion, okay, by uh, reiterating or uh, repeating eh, each of the uh, parts that I have in my speech. Okay, so the secret of a successful life, I have delivered to you each for 10 minutes. So, this 
what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, uh, Ingredients of a successful life uh, Number 1, be cool Number 2, aim high Blah, 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 blah Until kneel down and pray Itu uh, maksudnya uh, One kind of uh, conclusion lah Alright So, what are the functions of conclusion? So, the first function of conclusion According to uh, Lucas Is signal the end of the speech We want to give signal to the audience that we are going to end up our speech and for examples when we say in conclusion in summary ataupun let me end by saying okay or ladies and gentlemen i believe that we had reached the end of the session ah contohnya kan so itu adalah these are the examples of signaling the end of the speech According to Lucas, eh, further, okay, one method of uh, signaling the end of the speech adalah crescendo ending. Okay, we we are building eh, to zenith of power, intensity. So, maksudnya daripada, contohlah, eh, uh, uh, low note uh, to higher note, uh, to another higher note, uh, to another higher note, uh, or the highest note, uh, Itu crescendo lah Alright But itu adalah analogi eh? That's the analogy lah We built to zenith of power Jadi tuan-tuan perempuan Pertama First Okay contoh macam ni tadi kan Okay ladies and gentlemen First We need to be cool Second We need to aim high Third We need to see the world Fourth Time is so precious Sampai lah mungkin yang last tu adalah We need to kneel down And pray Ya yeah. <coughs> so that's what we call as crescendo lah. Another method of um, signaling the end of the speech eh dalam conclusion in conclusion adalah dissolve ending. Ah uh, dissolve ni apa maksudnya? Generating emotional appeal by fading to dramatic final statement. Maksudnya ah uh, from a very stressing kind of delivering sampailah kepada ah uh, apa softer softer and softer Dia dissolve Dia menghilang Macam itulah maksud dia Okay Alright The second function of conclusion We want to reinforce the central idea Like what we had done in our introduction It's the same in conclusion No big difference Okay Sometimes we are having conclusion As though it is an introduction Maksudnya conclusion and introduction is about the same lah Kan eh so, second function of conclusion adalah reinforce the central idea. So, um, we want to reinforce the audience's understanding of or commitment to the central idea of the speech. And we want to assure that they are committed to everything that we had. If not everything, eh, most that they can capture lah in our speech lah. Uh, so, itulah kepentingan. Now, that's the importance of having conclusion. And then there are four methods of accomplishing uh, this. Eh? So these methods can be used separately or as a public speaker, we can combine it okay, to create an effective conclusion. So contohnya, eh, method number one, we just summarize our speech. So we restate all the main points in our speech. Lah. So ladies and gentlemen, before I leave you, the secrets of a successful life are number one, Okay, be cool, number two, number three, until number seven. Okay, ah, itu maksudnya summarize it lah by restating the main points. The next method is, we can conclude with a quotation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you about the importance of knowledge. So, I want to end up my speech by uh, concluding it okay, with the saying of Henry Ford. Eh, the founder of Ford Motor. If money is your hope for independence, you will never have it. The only real security that a man will have in this world is a reserve of knowledge, experience, and ability. Ha, itu maksudnya, conclude with a quotation lah. Ataupun mungkin, uh, quotation tu macam, uh, apa, uh, ambil hadis Nabi, okay, ataupun ambil dalil dalam Al-Quran, ataupun the sayings of uh, imams, Okay, the saying of negarawan, okay, ataupun countrymen, and so on lah. And then, method number three is, in, uh, sorry, ni bukan method number three, 
quotation jugalah kan macam saya cakap tadi lah boleh ambil dalil-dalil nakli kan the most beautiful is amid quotes on kindness contohnya eh. so every act of goodness is considered as sedekah okey sahih al bukhari so maybe in our speech we talk about sedekah wakaf infa and so on so uh, we end up with quotation lah every act of goodness is considered as sedekah like what rasulullah sallallahu had said narrated by Imam Al Bukhari. And then method number three, we end our speech or we end uh, with conclusion with a dramatic statement. Dramatic, kan? Dia macam, wah, dia akan bentuk is we create apa nama dia um, the 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 uh, pleasure okay of the the audience like uh, they are they will get something more eh, right after the speech session end up ah uh, itu maksudnya dramatic statement lah. So one of the powerful closing style in giving force and vitality is to end up conclusion with a dramatic statement lah. So the impact might remain longer. Okay. Okay. Method number four. Okay. We refer back to the introduction of the speech. Yes sir. This is normal one. Okay. We refer to the introduction of the speech. Like what I told you just now. Conclusion uh, always eh, the same case of introduction. Okay, so after reading the chapter, contohnya kan, saya ulang balik. At the end of my slide, okay, I put uh, the the objective again. So macam tadi, okay, awal-awal tadi, after reading the chapter, students should be able to blah blah blah. It's a kind of uh, direction to the students. They need to understand this, to understand that, to have the capability of this and that. So at the end of the session, kita just nak cakap bahawa, okay, we refer back to the introduction of the speech, okay. So we say that, okay, after reading the chapter, have you be able okay have you do you have the ability already okay to identify the four objectives of a speech introduction contohnya kan so itu maksudnya we are referring back to the introduction of the speech awal-awal tadi okay so sample for conclusion you can refer to page 193 i hope that you can read this carefully lah so i move on to uh, four topics uh, sorry four tips for preparing an effective conclusion okay according to lucas number one speakers should keep an eye for potential concluding materials so tadi tu keep an eye for potential introduction materials kan so now potential concluding materials as they research the speech as you the public speakers eh, research the speech from time to time based on your own experience kan b speakers should conclude with a bang eh, instead of a whimper kan eh? Bang, maksudnya we leave impact eh, in the head of in the head of our uh, listeners lah, okay? Uh, maksudnya we might want to provoke, okay? We might want to challenge them so that they can uh, utilize whatever they got from our speech at the end of the speech or right after the speech uh, finish or maybe several time, eh? maybe several days after, several months after our speech. Ha, itu maksudnya bang, ya, yeah, ada kesan. And then speakers should not be long winded eh, in the conclusion. Maksudnya conclusion tu tu boy boy banyak sangat, eh, too long. Siap ulang balik apa yang dah, uh, the, the 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 speaker had uh, reiterated back eh, page by page, okay ataupun slide by slide, okay in uh, his um, presentation. So this is uh, should not be like that lah, okay long winded, tu boy boy lah maksudnya. Eh. And then next, speakers should prepare the content and delivery of the conclusions with special care. Maksudnya, uh, kita ada rehearsal lah. The, the word, okay, yang saya nak guna tadi, yang saya terlupa tu adalah rehearsal. We need to rehearse. Okay, because rehearsal will help us to find special care. Okay, to find the capability of having special care in terms of delivering our conclusion. Okay, so that's it. Wallahu alam bisawab. I hope that uh, you could understand everything. Okay. So, I, I I implement lah apa yang kita belajar tadi tu kan. Okay. So, I hope that at the end of the topic of beginning and ending the speech, you will gain the capability, the uh, the the capacity of identifying the four objective of speech introduction. You have the capability of explaining yeah, eight methods that can be used in gaining attention in an introduction. And then identify the major function of speech conclusion. Explain the methods a speaker can use in fulfilling the functions of a conclusion and so on. So, wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.
Thank you very much. Allah bless all of us.